Hi, I'm Jean Edelman. For decades, I've been a student of the healing arts. Reiki, traditional Chinese medicine, homeopathy, acupuncture, plant-based, and macrobiotic cooking. Join me on this journey and hear my word of the week. Great to be with you this week. This week, I wanted to kind of do a recap. How's your summer been? Have you been keeping up with your self-care? How about our boundaries? You know, we're about to start that last slide into the last few months of the year. And for some reason, we just feel like we got to fit it all in and we get crazy. And so I just want to solidify for us, what is our self-care? What are our boundaries? Let's talk about the schedule that's coming and let's decide what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Who are we going to see? Let's try to plan it out so that we're not so congested at the end of the year. But you know, my year started with this little health event that was wanting me this year to slow down and really look at some of my ancestral mindset that I had been living with and to find ways to nourish my soul. And so I've been really working every day to hold these lessons from January and make sure that I am especially nourishing my soul. Because let's remember that life comes from us and that life is for us. And that these challenges day to day, our health, our loss of a loved one, they're coming our way to help teach us about ourselves. And that is very hard to understand sometimes because we don't always see that lesson. Life is a constant classroom. The topics keep changing. If we do find that the topic keeps coming back up, then hmm, we haven't learned our lesson and it's time to pay attention. But we especially want to remember as we're moving into this last part of the year is our self-care. Are we holding on to it? Maybe we've added to it. Do we need to change anything? The best part is to remember to be fluid and to grow because you know what? We're changing. We're growing. And so will our self-care. So maybe with the summer travel and our summer schedule, our routine definitely got out of whack. But let's try to get back to what makes us feel good. Are we missing anything? And let's make sure we get back on track. So this week, it's simple. My word of the week is self. The S is to see, to see that we are beautiful souls on this planet. We all have special gifts. We cannot give if we are too tired and too depleted. And so we really want to make sure we're blocking time for ourselves, especially as we head into the end of the year. The E is for ease, to ease into our day. It is so much healthier to have a few minutes for ourselves before we start rushing around. It's better and healthier for ourselves to breathe and stretch. Maybe write an intention for ourselves for the day. Let our body know that we are connected, we're tuned in, and we're listening our mind, body, and spirit are all together, and we can be the best version of ourselves if we are listening. The L is for light, because you know what? When we smile and when we are happy, we are lights on this planet. Let's look for all the good in things. Let's have gratitude. There are so many people that are going without right now. And so having that kindness and that gratitude for everyone we meet is so important. The F is for fresh, fresh and new, because, hey, that's how we get to start each day. Yes, our health is cumulative. Remember how we take care of ourselves in our 20s, 30s, and 40s. Well, guess what? It's going to catch up with us in our 50s, 60s, and 70s and beyond. So we get to start new each day. It's wonderful. Let's start a new habit of health. Let's start a new fresh way of thinking. And let's start a new fresh direction in our life. 
We can do it. We can do it. Have a beautiful week, everyone. And remember that self-care and remember yourself.